folks, and welcome to another Sunday morning Simple Flange. I'm Matt. And I'm Jordan. Hey, brother. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Excellent. Thank Thanks you for coming on. Thank you for having me back. Thanks for, you got the nose not to wear pants, too. That's great. Yeah, and I just never wear them. So, you know, <laughs> hey. synchronicity. Hey. Synchronicity. Um, you like music. Love music. Yes. Love um. It. And your and your list here, we're talking about top five albums, like the albums where every song mm. seems to be just like a hit. You, there's nothing skippable. In fact, me personally, and I think you're the same way. I don't know if I'm putting on an album, even if it's streaming, I'm listening to the whole thing. I'm going to listen to it regardless. Oh yeah, I mean, I think it's rude to skip from the from the band, even if it's a song I don't like. Maybe I'll turn the volume down or something, or do something else. But I will never skip a song. I I didn't do that on CDs, uh, on tapes. It was harder to do. But I wouldn't fast forward through a song on a tape. And now that's digital, it's so easy now. Oh yeah. And I listen to singles, yes. But if I'm popping in an album, it's gonna play every song, regardless of it's one that I it's a catchy one or not. So I'm someone like that. You're the same. I'm the same way. I mean, I, I, I'm a vinyl head. I love vinyl. I've been collecting it since I was in high school. So that uh, you can't really. I mean, you could drop a needle on a particular song if you wanted to, but I like to play it top to bottom. Well, see, I grew up vinyl. Sides. You did too. Mm-hmm. We had records growing up with the real records. I mean, they were. This is not oh old school retro. No, they had records when we were growing up, and we played <laughs> records all the time. And the most time I play my record player these days is around Christmas. Nothing sounds better oh, no. than a Christmas record, vinyl. It, the pop, the, the sizz, the sound. Oh, yeah, the snap, crackle, pop. It is Christmas. It's like, Christmas. It, it's, right, it's like an, it's, it's, it's chestnuts roasting on an open fire <laughs> while I'm listening to Perry Cuomo. I listen to Perry Cuomo's Christmas. That is like my favorite Christmas album now. Um, I have a lot of favorite ones. But that right now is leading the pack. And I love the pop, the hiss. Digital doesn't have that. Yes, it's clean. I love digital music. I'm not this guy that says, you got to get, you know, we talked about this in a previous podcast. You got to get the hard, you know, you got to buy the CD, buy the album. Yes, I'm for that if you want to. Like, I maybe if yeah, I had I mean, the, the money. The artwork is nice to look at. I'd know, get the vinyl. And, I, and And for the longest, I was buying the Weezer CDs. I recently relented um, on that. But, and now I have the last, mm, I don't know, they release an album every three months. I know, it's like ridiculous. Days. But so uh, the winter, spring, summer, autumn, I, I, those were all digital. I know for sure. And I want to say from, I can't remember what album came before that, Pacific Rim, I did not buy. Um, I bought the Teal album. So I don't, the cover. The covers, songs, yeah. I bought that one on CD. And that may have been the last one then, so maybe it's been a while. Maybe that's been a while, because that was in 2019, 20... Since you bought one of their records? Yeah, maybe so. Because they put out maybe five more since Oh, yeah, since then. So, yeah, (laughs) OK Human, no, that one came out on... uh, I got that digitally, too. Um, uh, The, uh, what, the Weezer Kiss one? What's it called? Weezer... Van um, Weezer. Van Weezer, which is a great album. That's a Van Halen. Um, Yeah, cover. That one I got digitally. So, yeah, most of them I get digitally now, but, but the thing is, though... Um, I do love the record sound, the sound mm-hmm. of the record. And I got a lot of our old, um, the ones that I took uh, from Mom and Dad. Yeah. Are the old uh, Christmas, except for the, even though it is the Sesame Street Gold album, I had to buy that one because ours was so messed up from us scratching it and moving <laughs> around. Man, I don't know why Dad didn't beat us on a daily basis for how we treated those <laughs> records. Do you remember that? We just, and you get to our song that we wanted. We didn't care. <laughs> Now I cringe at that. Yeah. I hate it. Because I have our album, The Chipmunks one, and there's one song it's that scratched. sadly I can't get the scratch out. I tried, yeah, you and can't I can't get it out. out, and it's just it skips on one of the songs. I'm like, no, because I know we skipped over that one, which is why it has that scratch over it. Because oh. we try to move it to the next song, Polly Wally Doodle All the Day, or whatever it was, and we're like, no, I want to hear Polly Wally Doodle now. I want to hear all of them. Yeah, I used to, I used to put them on like... I would turn on, you know, the Nintendo, but turn the sound off, listen to some Simon and Garfunkel, oh, yeah. some James Taylor, oh, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Now here's the thing. Oh man. Oh no. What? Not not been recording. No, I. You made me think of an album that should be on here. 
I knew this was going to happen because my list is not going to be as good as yours. I'll just tell you that right no now. No way, no way. I, it I, will not be like yours. You know music. You know music way better than me. But you just made <clears throat> me remember there is an album. All gone it. I knew. I knew. I knew there were going to be. There was going to be an album Dude, there's that I was going to forget about. There it is. What's the name of it? Okay. That's going on the top. Top five. Okay. I'll put it at number five since I did forget about it. Usually my lower ones are, if it doesn't pop up in the top of my head, it's not my top five. Unless later on I look it up. And unless I'm sad, which the thing is, I could be mistaken. There could be better albums. You may name an album I may have forgotten about. And but here's the thing: we always do this. We always do this uh, every time we do a Saturday morning Sam Flange. We always guess if there will be any crossover. Now this is such a broad topic. We did grow up in the same house, but that doesn't mean our, there's because mm. there's so many albums. It could be anything. You're saying right now zero crossover, which you could be right. Yeah. I, I'm almost bent. I mean, there's maybe one on here you might have, but I'm very positive none of these other ones will be on your list. They have a maybe it, yeah. one. Okay, so you say yes, so none. Okay, I, I'm going to say none as well, uh, but if there is one, I, uh, the, uh, there's only one of these I think you would have on your list. I did put mine in order. I don't know if you did. It doesn't matter if you did. You said this was a hard topic. Yeah, it's tough for me just because, yeah. I <laughs> listen and love every album on its own. I, I judge the an album by all of its songs, not just its hits. Oh, yeah. Uh, look over it overall. So if I say it's a good album, th that could mean I like every song on the album. Could not, you know. Um, I, I have I haven't ranked all the Weezer. Oh, holy crow! I should rank all the Weezer albums, all seventy eight of them or whatnot. <laughs> but uh, that would actually be fun. And I did rank the. Uh, I think I told you this. I, I ranked the um, uh, the seasons ones a long time. I need to go back and see what that rank. I know my favorite one was. Autumn or winter, I can't remember now. I think it was autumn because they have a song, It Tastes Like Pain, which is just so good. So good. The rest of the album's okay, but uh, it tastes like pain because right now we're just getting whatever comes out of River's head and gets drawn up on paper and then thrown into a song. He's not going for hits yeah. these days. He's just saying, Hey, you like my music? This is what I wrote today. You can have it. And there may be one or two, you know, radio savvy songs on there, but that's not what he's going for anymore. And, and bless mm -hmm. him for it, because I, I I do appreciate what they do. That's my favorite band. Which, yeah, spoilers, obviously, you're gonna see a Weezer album on here. <laughs> um, and that was the well, one we I might thought. have crossover. <laughs> okay, that was the one crossover I thought we'd have. Well, I'll I'll go ahead and start. I'll go ahead and start because you reminded me there is a Simon Garfunkel album. I think it's perfect. Do you know which one it is? Sound of Silence. It is Bookends. Bookends. Oh, okay. Bookends. I, lo uh, I love it. It's all happening at the zoo. I love that. And then it goes into Save the Life of My Child. I yes. love that whole <laughs> album. When you said Simon Garfunkel, I went, yeah! Now, yes, yeah, Sound of Silence is another good. There's a lot of good albums. from. And love by the band. way, not a single one of these are, I'm not, we're not, I'm not counting greatest hits. Duh, greatest hits. No, I mean, yeah, no. That's, that's a duh. I'm talking about regular albums, but book, and there's a lot. You can, I wouldn't argue with you if you said, uh, you know, Sound of Silence or whatever. That's another great album, too. But I listened to bookends, and I sung every song to the top of my lungs. I loved every song equally. Mm -hmm. Equally. I thought that was just such a beautiful... Is that where um, America is on that? And we want time to look for America. I should... See that before, because I mean they have a lot of albums yeah, on there. Hold it's on, it's either that one or that's Bridge Under Trouble Water. I think Bridge Under Trouble Water is how it ends. I think this one ends, isn't it? No, oh no, it's on Bridge. No, that's its own oh yeah, record. yeah. So America's bookends, song. bookends, old friends, America, voices oh, of it? old okay. people, which is voices of people talking. Bookend, save the life of my child. Overs, oh that they, they, they have some, you know, the mm -hmm. instrumental. Um, old friends. I just been faking it, faking it. Oh gosh! Yeah, I Bang love it. Bangers. Punky's <laughs> dilemma. Yes. It's a hazy shade of winter. Look around, and then uh, uh, Mrs. Robinson's on there. I mean, so those are the hits that are on there. But dude, at the zoo, 
Oh yeah. Just wonder, wonderful. Funky's Save the life dilemma. of my funky Punky's dilemma is excellent. Yeah. It is excellent. Save the life of my child. Oh, Cry the desperate thing. mother. What's become of the children? Oh my gosh. So that I mean every song in America I think is mm, no, I like Homeward Bound the best. But mm. I do love America. I think America boxer oh man there's so oh, many so, but america is one of my favorites it is one of my favorites and the moon rose over and open uh over an open field oh mm -hmm. gosh oh gosh you get good i got goosey i got the goosey to bump so so what'd you bump for that one what'd you bump okay I'm just curious. i bumped I'm one curious. that i listened to as a kid tape first wait second tape i ever bought um and i listened to every song all the time uh, while mowing grass with Patrick Tristler, and it was dangerous. I was going to say that. Ah! I was going to say dangerous. I should have just said it. Dangerous. I dangerous it. is such a... And honestly, I think I, most of those songs did play over the uh, uh, the radio at one time or the other. Uh, it, uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me see this. Uh, where are we going? Jam. She drives me wild. Yeah. Uh, heal the world. Uh, why you want to trip on me? Keep it in the closet. And then remember the time? Yeah, a lot of these have music videos attached to them. So uh, I Can't Let Her Get Away. Black and White, of course, one of my favorite songs. And who is it? And honestly, looking at this, she drives me wild. That's the... Mm -hmm. That one and Can't Let Her Get Away are the only two on here who are, that are not showing music videos. Wow, so I guess most of this album did because Jam was with Michael Jordan. No, Keep the Faith. Keep the Faith is another one that doesn't have a music video. But everything else has a music video. Because I remember this. King of Pop for nothing. Yeah, King of Pop, man. King of Pop. But anyway, yeah, that would be one of them. Okay, so number five. Oh. Or just, or just one, one. The first one you want to talk about. So I guess, oops banging the table that's all right all right um i guess the first one would be i gotta go with the beatles record i, I, I knew you do beatles yeah huge beatles fan of course but i i decided to stick with uh, a hard day's night because that that was the first thing that introduced me to the beatles was a movie have you seen that movie uh, no, I have not. I know Dad's watched it in several times. Well, fun fact, Grandmommy hated the Beatles. But she used to do, you know how the Disney Channel used to do like a two-week uh, preview? They'd give you the yeah, channel yeah, yeah, for yeah. like two weeks. Well, during that time, she would record everything. And she would just look at the listing and write it down on the, on the videotapes. And if she had known, Jeffrey told me this because he's the one who found it. He said if she knew she had this, she would burn this tape <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, we used to pass it back and forth. We'd see each other at least once a year. That's so funny. He'd take it home for a year. We wore that tape out, man, and it was in the middle, but we knew exactly when to rewind it to and stop it, you know, to cue it up again. But man, I, we wore that tape out. Watched it Hard so many days, times. Hard Day's Night. And, it, and fun fact, it essentially invented the music video, that movie. Which is cool, but yeah, every every song on there. I'm shocked just, because there's a and, lot of good albums when you're talking about Beatles. I know, and I could go. I mean, like you got. I, go ahead. Well, I just I saying. Was, anybody asks me what's my favorite Beatles record, and it's usually the last one I listen to. You know, like <laughs> I can't. Pick. Yeah, I just can't. There's there's a lot of solid ones, and and the uh, girls were big Beatles fans growing up. I used to play Beatles no in the car, and I want to hold your hand. They would hold hands together. See, see I, Yellow, want, I want to hold your hand is off of a Hard Day's Night. <clears throat> yeah, Yellow Submarine is Piper's was Piper's favorite as a kid. She sang that all the time. It's catchy. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of the good ones. It was the uh, the number ones album. Oh, you definitely. Know, yeah. Which I think out of all collective best hits, that's just one of my favorite. That one and. You talk about best best hits. That was that's one. The Beatles number ones. James Taylor's greatest hits are just solid. Uh, Aerosmith big ones. Just oh yeah. Just that's a great number ones out. The hit greatest hits album. I could do some greatest hits albums. Dream on. I too. wish I could hit that. Like you know. Dream that note? on. Dream on. Oh no. The, oh no. I can't oh even no. Get, I can't even get up. Hold there. Hold on. Should Aerosmith be on this? Because <gasps> what is the. Uh, I mean, Toys in the Attic is excellent. Toys in the Attic is amazing. Yeah. Get a grip. 
Oh my goodness! I do love Ro- rocks. It for you. Rocks is also excellent. Rocks is too good. It's a good record. Pump is a good one. Oh my goodness! Hold on, let me see. Oh no. No, I'll say it's not. No, no, I do like bookends better, so never mind. But anyway, that's a good one. Are, are yours going to be all Beatles albums? No, 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 no. Okay, it, I didn't know what this is going to turn into. I had a feeling there. It could, it could easily, it could easily be. be. But that you know, all the band, all these bands, they, you know, there's multiple great records. I feel the same way about uh, Radiohead, which will show up. Okay, for mine. Me. Uh, for me. If Jeremy was here, Radiohead would definitely be on his. They just have so many good ones. All right. My number four is going to surprise people because I just talked about Weezer, but it is Weezer Blue at I'm, number four. I'm kind of surprised. It's at so the, low Yeah, I know. A lot of people would be surprised. Um, right now, they're going on tour. They're playing every song from the Blue Album. Oh. That's what the tour is. And yes, please. Yes, please. Um, I'd love to go. I don't think I will be able to, but uh, the Blue Album is classic. It is classic. I always said if they ever released you know, greatest hits, they could just re-release the Re-release blue the Blue Album. Honestly, there's not one bad Bangers. song. <laughs> one, there, there's one hit after... It's, it's, it's Home Run Derby when you turn on that album. It's Home Run Derby. It's just, it's just a huge hit. Every song just knocks it out of the park. And I cannot, I've lost count of the times. I've, that's the, probably the album I have listened to most in my entire life. Probably should oh, be wow, number okay. one. Well, now that I say, no, I take that back. It is probably not. It is close to number one. It's probably number two because number one is number one. Mm, now that I think I'm about it. i to hear that. But, well, but this... Weezer Blue got tons of play. And, and it so happens to be the first album I will play in every new car I buy. Because the first car I bought, I popped in my Weezer album. And it has been tradition. You must listen to the entire Weezer Blue album when you get the first car, the hey, new car. Easy. Don't have to twist my arm. Well, that is the crossover because uh, Blue Album's on there. Yeah, I thought there would be one. That's the one I thought would be on there. It's not even my favorite Weezer record, but it is just banger after banger after banger. I feel the same way about Pinkerton, though. I love that record, and every one of those is a banger for me. Yeah, but I did. I did go with the blue I, album. I, I love. I I, I I am biased. There is a lot of Weezer albums I think are just awesome, but um, well, I'll talk about that afterwards. But blue album, it's classic. I don't Dude. think anyone can deny. It's just one that just every song just like you said, Hits. banger, yeah. banger. So that's our crossover there. Yeah, I like I like Rivers. I like Rivers. He seems like a nice guy. Do you know much about this dude? Um, graduated from Harvard. Harvard went, yeah, yeah, went we back. That. Was big with Weezer, then went back and graduated with Harvard. Uh huh. Like yeah. after he was famous, like wanted and is super supposedly super smart. You yeah. Know? Not that you're dumb if you're in a band. You've definitely talented, but I mean, not you everybody don't go for graduates Harvard for from fun. Harvard. Yeah, right, for yeah. fun. <laughs> but uh, supposedly he's a really smart dude too. Yeah, I believe but, it. Yeah. But yeah, that's awesome though. All right, so first crossover number three. I just spoke to uh, Charity, our sister, about this. But uh, it is, and you're going to know this one when I say it. Uh, it's Alanis Morissette. Jagged. Jagged Little Pill. Yep, Jagged Little Pill is, is just the song that... It, it's so weird because I'm, I'm not the one who found this. I know someone else was listening to it. And we listened to the car, and I could not believe that I enjoyed every... Because she seems like you listen to one of her songs and thinking, okay, that was a one-hit wonder. The rest of them are something completely different. Mm-hmm. No. That's her sound. And any one of these could be just a, a, a radio classic. That yeah. one also had... Well, not the whole record, but several of those were music videos. Yes. You know? One hand in pocket, all, you, all I really want, you ought to know... Perfect. I love perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, right through you is good. Forgiven. You, you, you learn is classic. Head over feet. There's so many good stuff. And like when I, and I forget about this album every once in a while. But when I listen to it, I mean, you talk about not only myself, but my wife would probably put Jagged Little Peel in her top five. I, d- as I well. did consider it. I did. Ma- if Megan's here, Megan puts Jagged. I almost. I'm almost. She puts a Garth Brooks album in there. I don't know which one, but she puts a Garth Brooks album in there. 
But Jagged Little Pear, I promise you, is in her top five. I know for a fact it has to be because she's blaring out each line. Every Any kid from the 90s mm-hmm. knows Jagged Little Peel. Yeah. It's just, you know your ABCs, you know your Jagged Little Peel. That's mm-hmm. what you do. <laughs> and it's just so wild that that one is still just, I mean, there, there's very few people I think you can come out, swing. Was that her first album or second? What was this? Should have looked up Atlantis Morissette albums. But I don't know. Either way, though, um, and Weezer. Weezer's first, you know, was the Blue Mm -hmm. album. So, I mean, you come out with one, it's kind of, you know, hard to get. Whoops, let me see. Uh, Albums. Was this the first one? Maybe should have done some homework before this. Yeah, Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So, I mean, you came out, you came out swinging. Came out swinging. Good for you. Good on you. It was the 90s. It was music. It was... What's your pick? Well, I got a lot of 90s ones because it's really hard to to choose. 90s and is the, solid the, air. The, the nostalgia just... Just you can't get away from it. But And that... And that and we should mention, whatever year you grew up and music really was a big deal for you. Like for me, in the 80s, we listened to radio. We did not buy albums mm-hmm. in the 80s. I started buying albums when I was a teenager we in the 90s. Young, yeah. So that that's really when I can talk about, you know, there's a lot of great 80s songs I love, but whatever era you grew up in, like we have Ronnie Medlin on here, his top five is all 70s albums. I bet you anything. And that's easy. I bet there's not a single, and that, I'm fine with that. I'm yeah, fine with that. I could do it too. But I'm just saying, you could we could go through and... Pick an Every error. decade, yeah. But in but fact, the decade I used that, to I used to ask this question: top five of the ni- favorite records of the '90s and Jagged Little Pill, Blue Album. Those are up on my list. Yeah, right I think that. they had to be solid, solid. Yeah. Everyone's all right. So what's another one? A third one? Uh, never mind. I gotta go. With you don't want to tell me? I'm, ki- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I almost put Never Mind on there. I but can't. Then not. I, I I I I think it is classic. I think it's. I am shocked, by the way, of how many Nirvana t-shirts. There's more Nirvana t-shirts than any other band out there right now. Yeah, they're huge. Still and huge. they're still today. And, and right, I mean, they're a great band. But I want to grab those little kids and go, and, do you know what that is? They do, because their parents were... <coughs> their parents uh, were Nirvana. in the 90s. <laughs> and they listen to Nevermind. Yeah. They're like, this is awesome stuff. It speaks to every generation. Um, it's the... You know, kick off of grunge. It's like why we know Simon and Garfunkel. It, you know, they know yes. Nirvana. Yes, yes, yes. agreed, agreed. Yeah. I almost had this on here, but there, these other ones, when I looked at it, I said, I've listened to these albums more. Yeah. There's nothing wrong this with Nevermind. There's no, nothing Nirvana wrong with Nirvana was, Nevermind. outside of parental influence, this was my first, like, for me, favorite, you know, music type I still love grunge. Thing. I remember the I mean? first time that I, that I saw his face... It was the, the the SNL. He had the pink hair. Oh, shut up! Really? Yeah, and I was like, "That's what that guy looks like." I think and I saw his MTV con- his mic. unplugged concert, and I thought, "Who is this guy? Why is he doing unplugged?" But then, now that I go back, that unplugged album is pretty solid. Oh man, that, that may be my so favorite solid. album. That is so solid. That is beyond solid. Yeah. And were were they one of the first ones to do the whole unplugged? thing or oh, make I it famous i don't know they but they were one of the first but but oh man goodness gracious there's out. a lot of a good unplugged albums out there uh, that's mm-hmm. that that would be one of my very best allison chains unplugged is really good allison too. chains i think eric clapton had an unplugged oh, one that is, was, that's a great one it's too. solid yeah. um there's a band i like that um is uh it's called music from on high oh my gosh what is the name elva Revolver. What is their name? I've lost their name all of a sudden. Uh, Unwritten Law. Unwritten Law has an unplugged. You don't know Unwritten no, Law, but I've never heard of it. It's they have an unplugged album that is just. I love their music. Their music's rock, but their unplugged is just. It. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. A little acoustic. It's just, it's just so beautiful. That tug at your so heartstrings. Be- I'm telling you. But never mind. Tugs at your heartstrings too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never. Yeah. Never mind. That is just. It's it's solid. So solid. One so after, solid. One after the other. One after the other. Bleeds. All right. So I got another. I, I did 90s. I did some 90s in here. 
And this one, I am absolutely positive. This is on our brother Jeremy's top five list. So it's it, a Radiohead? It's, it, it, well, Radiohead would be probably one of his number ones. Yeah. I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, but maybe Bush would still register. For Remy? For Sixteen him, Stone, I don't, that's what you're doing? No. Razor but this circus. one is one that it's not number one, but I bet you it's number two. Presence of the United States. Oh, man, I was just talking to him about Peaches the other night. Every song. Uh, this is 1995 as well with Jagged Little Pill. I didn't know this until I'm just looking it up here. Yeah. Whoa. No, that record. And what a year. There are also like 18 songs on that record. It may not be that long, but, but it's so good. Kitty, <laughs> Lump. Old Man on the Back Porch. Feather Plunkett. <laughs> old Man on the Bowl Weevil. Oh, yeah. Stranger Peaches. Doom Buggy. Little Doom Buggy in the sand. We're not going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Uh, kick out the jams, body, candy, back porch, old man on the back porch, and that, old man is me. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 don't. Naked, and fa naked and famous. Are you kidding me? Everybody wants to be naked and famous. I thought that was so brilliant. I, I think that whole, um, what was, I think there's a, there's a uncut version of this where it has a, it says, I saw the, the Caroline's booty, what was that, what was the song, I can't remember. But, uh, it's about the, uh, Seeing Caroline's booty, you know, and getting turned on by it. But anyway, uh, yeah, Jeremy sang it a lot, but then he realized that that's the name of his sister-in-law. So probably, so probably not, probably not the best album to be singing out loud anymore. But it, but every song is just it, they're quirky. Anyone who hasn't heard it, it is so quirky. But every song is so funny and just done. Well done. Well, wasn't it they, like their guitarists too? They had two guitars. One had three strings. One yeah, had two. two. Strings, yeah, right? yeah. That's but so crazy. It, but the music is so unique, so unique. Everything about them was so unique. But that album is awesome. It is awesome. It is catchy. If I'm playing it once, Great I'm playing it too. a whole week in my car. Say what? Great band name too. President's United it's States. President of the United States. Yeah, can't go wrong there. All right, next one for you. All right. Well, I'll just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and. Uh, oh, swinging for the fences here. Here he goes. I'll just, I'll just drop the radio head. I really could go with almost any one of them. Just okay. Except, well, you got another one after this too. You got two more left. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? So now, radio hold that head one would off. probably be my number one. So okay. I'll, so hold I'll, off. I'll hold Give off me another on one. That one. I'll hold off on that one. And this one, Dang I don't know. Man. I don't know if this is a curveball to many of you out there, but um, I can't help it. Uh, I think I want to say it was 93, uh, maybe 92. Um, Rage Against the Machine, self titled, first record they did. Every single one of those. So good. <laughs> so good. Dang it. That is a good album. That's a smoking record. And then it's got the monk Dang uh, it. doing the self immolation on the front. That shocked Dang it. me when I was a kid. I was like, whoa, this is hardcore. But then I heard it and. The whole like oh man the whole thing dang it the whole record dang it that may place bookends crushes that's the a whole good record. one that's a good one that's a great one <laughs> actually that album is the album that i played at the end of every semester no way i would play it during finals and turn right before i took my last file I'd stop it at the last song. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> and then, so good. and then when I took my last final, I would listen to it the entire time during finals. Stopped it at Freedom. Took my last final. Didn't even listen to it. Was radio silence back then. And then, as high as it would go, <laughs> windows down. Yeah, and it was dry, as slow as I could. I drove around campus with it just blaring. Yeah. So I wanted people to share my feelings, and no one did it better than that first Rage, of the Mach uh, Rage Against the Machine album. Mm -mm. That is brilliant. Yeah. I love that one. New number five. New number five. Oh my goodness, that's number four, maybe even. <laughs> that's just that has so many good memories. Oh man, yeah. And I had never, what a great I had never pick. really heard anything like that before, and it just, yeah. Massive pick. It hit everything. Man, I knew I was gonna forget one. That is that is solid. So many. That, you know another one. I like I like uh, 
I like their, the one that came out after that, too. Um, Empire of the State. It, that that's a, that's a pretty that's a, solid album, too. I've listened to that whole solid. album. Honestly, I'm, I, I really love their discography. That's, Several uh, times. Oh, rats. Now you got me thinking about another Battle album. Battle for Los Angeles is great, too. I mean, Battle for Los Angeles is good. Not as good as the prior two, but it is good. Yeah, it is yeah. good. Um, hold on. Let me make sure before I say this. Bulls on Parade is, is Empire Bulls of the State. Bulls on Parade yeah, is just is so... They have several of them that are really good, but hold on. Yeah, that record's I? great, too. But that first one... No, I'm good on that. Okay, good. Yeah, that first one is just... Oh, that is... I forgot about it. That's just... It's you, It's got to be. It's got to mm-hmm. be. Number one is the best Weezer album out there. Yeah, baby! Wait, you got two Weezers mm-hmm. on there? I do. I oh cheated. Cheated. It's my list. I can do whatever I want. Pinkerton is the oh absolute, great, good is the absolute best album. That's my favorite one. Also. I've ever heard. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> Every song is incredible. El Scorcho. incredible. I love them all. Um, even the butterfly is so beautiful. I remember I was listening to the and Roger wasn't a Weezer fan. And he said, Matt, I see I went, can you go back and play that out last song again? I said, what butterfly? He said, Yeah. Can you play it again? And he's listening to say, I love I love this song. I, love <laughs> I was like, I love this album. But uh, That is my favorite Weezer record. Across the Sea is such a good song. I mean, mm-hmm. every song. A lot if I'm you were to pick tired. some of my top favorite songs, so tired. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm tired of of having having sex so tired. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I just, I can't sleep. (laughs) Okay, but anyway, it's just so good. Now, Weezer, I'm just going to say it. I think uh, other ones, I think other, other, uh, if we want to fill this in with Weezer, if I could. Um, Green Album is in there. Green Album was a solid, it was kind of a rejuvenation of them. And then the Red Album it's just so good. It's so good. I also am a fan of Hurley. Um, See, you skipped over Maladroit, but I, I like. Uh, I've, I've grown. I hated Maladroit when it came but out. Rocky and it's in, it, it was. It's in the <laughs> upper echelon of Weezer albums. It is. It is now. Um, but because I hate it, because they did something different. But that was the point. They were trying out different things. Yeah, they didn't want to yeah. be the same group that they were the green album was hey we're back here's what you remember and straight into maladroit mm-hmm. it's like now for something completely different like they did with pinkerton like they changed it with pinkerton and i i was i was young i didn't know i didn't understand what was going on you know and still thought captain d's was seafood back then and i was like you know what i <laughs> i i uh i was Seafoods. like what is this what is this garbage here I want Green Album Part 2, you know, and Part 3 and Part 4. But no, they want to do their own music and bless them for it because they've come up with some great... They've come up with some stuff I'm not too keen on, but then they've come up with some other stuff I thought that was really good. Now, sir, I, I don't recommend all the color albums. Um, like, the Black Album was a little bit of a disappointment. The White Album was pretty solid. Um, yeah, I don't know why, they, why, why the Black Album was their extremely it, poppy yeah it wasn't it just it just didn't feel like anything i don't know but uh a lot of their other stuff that they've done in between uh ratitude which a lot of people make fun of one of the songs on there is what actually one of my favorite songs um but uh there's there's so many good albums that i think they've come out with since then and and, and keep on and they keep doing different things okay human was different um uh i like the uh What's the one of the, all the B-side tracks? Death to Death to Metal. Yeah, that's fun. Death that's a fun album. Yeah, no, it's Death to Metal, it's I think, metal, or something. Huh? I think, but anyway, they have a lot of good ones. But you know, I, I I think Green and Red. Hold on, Pinkerton, Green, Red, Blue. I'd have to give it if I did a top five. Teal I, is a colored one, but it's not Teal was covered. a cover song, so I can't count that. Even though I love that album, it was cover songs. Man, I'll have to go back and think about. Uh, maybe Hurley. Mm. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. It'd be a hard five to get a top five Weezer albums. But what's the radio head that floats your boat? Let me see. Hold on. Did I have radio? I had radio head albums up here. Hold on. Oh, come on. This is, is also another one of those bands where it's like the last one that I listened to. But Man. <clears throat> um, 
I think I'm gonna just. One? I think I'm just gonna stick with uh, Kid A. I'm gonna. Oh really? With, I'm gonna go with Kid A. Okay. I mean, okay. it could it could be Hilda the Thief. It could be Amnesiac. Amnesiac is excellent. Okay. That one's actually a little I, more. I was gonna say Amnesiac because I think is that Remy's favorite. Which one is his favorite? He likes Radiohead. I don't actually know which one is his favorite. He likes one of these. I can't That's remember. That's what this is, though. This is Amnesia. Yeah. Okay, there you go. But you're picking Kid A. But I'm going with Kid A. It's got okay. my favorite Radiohead song on there, How to Disappear Completely. And uh, it's just so beautiful, eerie. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I that, that record, yeah. I just kind of... It was so unexpected, and it was kind of confused. It, Honestly, it pissed off a lot of people at the time, which I didn't care about. That actually kind of made it cooler to me, but it was just so different from anything that I'd ever heard before, and it confused me a little bit. But I but I believed in them, and I just felt like I was too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's just become, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's 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 awesome. It kind of they rewrote it, like you like you said with Weezer trying out different things. Radiohead and the Beatles did this too. They were always doing something different. That's why all their records sound different. Exactly. Um, and I appreciate that ab about a band. Like, uh, I, you know, some bands just keep making the same record over and over because that's just a good way to make some money. But uh, I just feel, as far as an artist goes, like you're always pushing for something. You're, it's self-respect, so I don't know. I really appreciated that, and they constantly like changed it, kept it, kept moving, kept doing different stuff. And love uh, it. And Kid A was so confused. <laughs> I think uh, I think it was like Courtney Love or somebody who was really pissed off, and she like said something really like, "You were supposed really? to save rock and roll. What is this shit?" <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Well, folks, let us know. What are your top five albums? How did we do? Do you agree with some of our picks? Do you disagree with the album? Not the artist. You say, no, Matt, no, Jordan. That wasn't their best album. It was this. I'm very interested to hear what you have to think. And we'll see you next time on Saturday morning. Simo Flange.